Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking energy ball effect using Adobe After Effects and trap code form. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels would be fine, 30 FPS at a duration of about 15 seconds. So press OK. Once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new solid and I'm just going to call this Sphere. So the effect that we are going to be using today is called Trap Code Form. Now Trap Code Form is a plugin from Red Giant. So if you do not have it, please download it before continuing on with this tutorial. So now once we've got that out of the way, the next thing that we need to do is we need to edit this uh, Trap Code Form plugin. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the base form and we're gonna change it from a box to a sphere. That's looking pretty cool, looks like a little Death Star, but, um, but we're gonna change it up a little bit. So the first thing that we are going to change is the size. Now I'm gonna bump mine up to about 800. You can put whichever size that you want. I'm also going to change the particles in X and Y to about 200 each. And I'm going to lower the sphere layers to one because we only want one sphere layer. Now, if you want to change any of these settings, you can. You can play around with them to get different and unique looks. Once we've got that out of the way, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come down to the particle settings. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to go to the particle opacity random and I'm just going to bump that up to about 40. Not much is happening there because we don't see the energy, but once we get to that section, you'll see how it changes. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to come into the meat of this uh, tutorial, which is all done in the fractal field. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the effect opacity and we're going to bring that up to about 20. And that's going to further create this kind of black dense in our energy ball. We are also going to change the flow to X, Y, and Z to 20. And again, once you have done this, you will see what is actually happening here. And we are also going to tick this uh, flow loop option and we're gonna change the time to the duration of the composition. So now my composition is 15 seconds. So I've changed it to 15. The next thing that we need to do is we need to come back to the displace option. So I'm just gonna bump that up to about 80. And now we've got this kind of cool looking displaced energy ball. So now once I have all that, I'm just gonna come back down to the F scale and I'm just gonna change this. So you can see what happens when I start to increase it. You get these kind of weird wobbles. So I'm gonna leave this at around about nine, but you're free to experiment with whatever you like. I'm also going to drop the octave multiplier to 0.2. And again, you're free to experiment with that. If you want it a bit more crazy and hectic, you can bump it up to maybe 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.3, etc. But maybe I'll bring it back down to, let's say 0 0.4. And I'll change the octave scale as well. So I can play around with some of these settings depending on how crazy you want it. So maybe I can even bring that up to about, let's say, to something like that. And so now if you scrub through your timeline, you've got this cool blob of kind of energy that's uh, looking pretty cool, but we're gonna make it look even better. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a background. So I'm just gonna create a new solid. I'm gonna label it BG and I'm gonna drag it underneath our sphere. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the effect called gradient ramp. I'm gonna change it to a radial ramp and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to color hunt and I'm choosing this blue, you know, color scheme for this energy ball. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the darkest color and put it back into After Effects. So now I've got the colors in After Effects. What I'm gonna do is firstly, I'm just gonna swap the colors cause I want the black at the bottom. And then what I need to do is I just need to move these points around so i don't want that much black so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kick the black off the screen a little bit just so we have this kind of radial 
uh, gradient ramp happening there. So once you're happy with that, then the next thing that we're gonna add is a camera. So I'm just gonna right click and go new camera. I'm gonna run with a 50 mil camera and I'm gonna press okay. Doesn't matter where the camera is, um, but the first thing that we need to do is go into camera options. I'm gonna change the depth of field. I'm gonna turn that on and then I'm gonna bump up the focus distance to about 3000 pixels and then I'm going to change the aperture as well. So what I want to do here is I want to just create a bit of blurriness on the outside. So it's up to you where you put this but I think if you have a value of about 1000 then it creates that kind of depth of field. So some bits are in focus, some bits aren't, and I think it just adds to the entire effect. So now once we have that, now we need to dress it up a little bit. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna add an adjustment layer, and I'm gonna search for an effect called curves. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play around with some of these settings. So I'm gonna bring down that value on the RGB, and then I'm just gonna bring it up slightly and you don't want to go too crazy here because it is affecting the entire uh, composition so the blacks are now really black because we've brought it down a bit so if you want to change that you can so it's like a simple s bend here just to bring out these colors make it a bit more dramatic the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to add another new adjustment layer and i'm going to search for the effect called noise and so with the noise effect, I'm just gonna bump that up to about 10%. So we have something like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some glow. And so the last thing that we're gonna add is some glow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna make sure that it's underneath my noise layer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the effect called glow and I'm gonna change a few of these settings. So. We're gonna bring up the threshold to about 80%, the glow radius to let's say 100, and then the intensity to about 0.5. Now you can play around with some of these settings. For example, if you bring down the threshold, you can see it creates a more dramatic kind of glow. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate that again, and we're gonna put in these values. So I'm gonna keep the threshold back at 80. I'm gonna increase the radius. So I'm gonna bring it up to somewhere near 400. And then I'm gonna play around with some of the glow intensity. So maybe drop it to about 0.4. And again, if you drop this value down, you can create more sharper glow around the outside. So maybe I can leave it at something like that. So experiment with some of those glow settings, you know, to get a, a nice ring around it. And the final thing that we're gonna do here to the sphere is we're just gonna come down and open up the transform settings. And we're gonna go to position and I'm gonna hold option on my Mac, uh, Alt on my Windows me machine and click on that position. I'm gonna, just gonna write uh, wiggle, open bracket, uh, we'll, we'll say 10 comma 2 and now if you've done that correctly now you will have given some shake to that energy ball and if that's too much you can always bring some of these values down so for example if you don't want it to wiggle as much you can um, change the first value over there or you can change the second value as well so that gives it a more kind of subtle shake but yeah, that's about it for this quick tutorial. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed how to create an energy ball using Adobe After Effects and Trapcode form. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.